Yeah, um, I just wanted to show you how to plant uh, some of these plants from the seed. This is rosemary here, and this is the new plants. You see, I planted this like uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm, you know, leaving it inside the house, but I'm going to transplant it outside in a little while. I even transplanted one today to see how it's going to do so that I can be able to take the rest of them outside. They have been inside, you know, during this winter. So this is rosemary, and this is the little plant here. This is a little plant, you know, so just to show you how how to do it and you can transplant each and every one of them to the soil and it will do so well yeah this is um basil this is basil here you see how i will start i started it first of all before I can take it outside. So most of these plants, they do well when you start it indoors, when you start it in a nursery, and then you try, you take it outside. So they've been, out, they've been inside here um, for, a, uh, for about one month now. You know, the weather is still spring, so it's not very hot. So I'm, I'm just raising them here so that I can take them outside. That's basil. This is a cabbage. This is cabbage here. Are you seeing the plant? Yeah, I also started it inside doors and brought it outside. So, see, this is cabbage. It's going to you know, get to the level of uh, the real cabbage, but it's a little bit leafy now so that it can be able to gather enough strength in the stem as to carry the cabbage itself. See, the stem has to be big. Yeah, so if the stem is big, then it can carry the plant, uh, the fruit, which is the cabbage itself. So this is the area that is, you know, turn into the the cabbage but you see how leafy it is it's so leafy you see that so leafy look at the leaf you see that this is one cabbage <laughs> look at it i just love it look at look at all the leaves here just one cabbage right yeah yeah these ones are coming a little bit and this one here is all cabbage these are all cabbage. Yeah, I put them in the uh, this uh, twenty gallon container. So just three in one container or four, so that it, it's a big it's a big plant, so they can have enough uh, area to develop. So I put like three. This one is three here. This one is three. This one is four. <laughs> this is four here. You see that four? Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's better to put it in like three. So that because it's a big plant. That cabbage is not it's not a, a chicken change, it's, it's a big plant that needs a lot of um, nutrients. But I give them a lot of nutrients. I really don't give fertilizer. I don't give any artificial thing. All I give is the shrubs. I take the shrubs and put in it. That's all, you see, shrubs. Look at the shrubs. That's all I give this plant. See, the shrubs. I, when I clean the yard, I take the shrubs and put in the in the plant. I don't give them any fertilizer at all. See that? Okay, so another one is um, this uh, cilantro. This is cilantro here. Cilantro. This is a plant. I have ever said it, look at the stem. I really trimmed it down. It was really like kind of bushy. 
and I trimmed it down. See where I had cut, trimmed it. I took it off. Yeah, so this is a big container. This is a three gallon. I think this is two and a half gallon container or three gallon here for one plant. You know. Yeah, so cilantro. Yeah, it's a very nice plant. Very, very nice. I did, I harvested them uh, about two weeks ago and they all came back. Okay. So another thing I want to show you is um, my my was um, onions onions. Okay. So this one here, uh, the the first transplant of of the rosemary. I took it out today to see if it would do well, so I can bring the other ones out. So this one, this one is my. Uh, onions here onions so I'm going to show you what I did with onions here what I did with onions was you see I trimmed the onions what I'm saying I'm going to show you one here see I trimmed the onions here see how I trimmed the onions this is how I trimmed the onions trimmed it out and planted them this one is coming up here this one is out here. You see how these ones are? Yeah, so this is just one one and one cut onion, see? And it's gonna have multiple onions. Just one cut of onions. It's gonna have multiple onions. Look at this one's here. This one's here. This one's onions here. Yeah? I planted it from the scraps. Onion scraps. Onion scraps. So just simple method of farming. This is what it is. Yeah, this one is uh, uh, mustard green here. Mustard green. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to show you some of these plants can stay to the next year. See this one? This is the mint. I planted this mint last year. Shockingly and surprisingly. He survived the winter. It was a terrible winter, serious big winter, and he survived it. See, this is from a year ago. Also, I'm going to show you another one. This one was from last year. This is from last year. I planted this last year, and he survived the winter. It was a lot of snow on it, and he survived. So you can plant this. And it, it will, if you plant it like this, you know, now, today is uh, May 25th. If you plant it like today, um, in May, on, in June, you will be able to, you know, get stronger before winter comes so that it can overcome winter. Okay, so this is my, my uh, garlic. This is a garlic here. You see garlic here? The, this garlic, I planted it in October. October, you see, October, and it is is able to overcome the winter. If I had planted it in November, it would not survive winter. So I planted it in October, and it was able to overcome winter. See, see that? Yeah. So I'm just teaching simple methods of planting. Everybody can do it. We, we need to start doing these things. It's not particularly for one particular people. Everybody should start doing it. It's so simple. All you need to do, take a, one clove of garlic and put it apart and plant it in the ground and it will sprout and begin to grow. You have to do this. Uh, garlic is a winter. It's a winter survival. It survives the winter. So you plant it in September, at least September, October, and it will overcome the winter. By spring, it will begin to sprout again and will pick up and we'll be able to be ready for harvest by July. We'll be able to be ready for harvest, harvest by July. Okay. So I don't put 
any artificial fertilizer. I take shrubs. These are shrubs. I take shrubs and put it in between the, the plants. You see, and it will fertilize the soil. It makes the soil very, very fluffy. You know, we have a clay soil over here. The soil we have here is clay, very clay soil. But with these shrubs on top of the soil, it makes it very fluffy. That is what I observe. Instead of being clay, you become very fluffy. And uh, that's how I fertilize my plants. I don't put any artificial fertilizer on it. You know, I don't put nothing on it. All I put is just, uh, sometimes I can put some, uh, maybe green tea or black tea or coffee. Mix it up with water and, and water the plant. That's it. Just a way of showing you how you can plant simple method of planting.